Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of the Siege of Avalon. In the last episode we started out chapter 4, which saw us taking on the disguise of one of the uh, Shahul hybrid dudes. That's why we kind of look like a pig over here. <laughs> Anyways, um, we found one of the, uh, like a bodyguard for like one of the ambassadors. And now we're returning back so that hopefully we can uh, finish our little quest over here. So we have a couple of things we have to do. We have to sneak into Overon's tent and retrieve his satchel. We have to check out the southwest and the south to find uh, the aim of their construction that they're doing and the activities of the troops. Uh, let's see. Oh, and we have to find a Dreamwalker's magical wand. So, all a nice little list of things to do, but we should be able to do this relatively easily. At least as far as taking on the enemies. Uh, in the last episode when we were going around, for the most part, we didn't have too many issues. I mean, we were even uh, sneaking by Mithras, the uh, main bad dude, and he didn't even know we were there, so... Alright, so we found a new location here, Village 13, that we haven't been in. So perhaps this will be one of the areas that we can, uh, oh, there is a caster over here. Not anymore. Several nice rings that we can get. I'm sure we can probably sell quite a few of those for a decent price as well. Eventually, anyways. Ooh, there's a big tent over here. The Shaohul Warlord. Let's do stabby stabby on him. Haha, <laughs> take that. Alright, so what's this chest here? A Ring of Shadows increases stealth and charm and reduces restriction. That's all really nice. And some Boots of Evasion. Uh, we'll take those as well. How do they compare to what we currently have? Defense 2, Defense 5. Mm, they're really not better by much anyways. Well, the Shaohul General, again, not going to present much of a challenge once we stab him to death. <laughs> you know what, I think we're going to stick with the bow. It just seems to work so much better. Oh dear. No! Away! Oh dear. Flee! Flee! Okay, let's try going back. Good. They didn't notice. Alright, and that took all the ones that would have been a major challenge for us. Took them out of the picture. Okay, we had some more dogs here. Houndmaster's chest, what's in here? Oh, I know what this is. Still bears the Houndmaster's scent, so it's a way to pretty much avoid detection by those uh, hounds there. Though, we really don't have to worry about it since we have, uh, like, some uber stealth going on. So we can just pretty much kill all of their hounds that they may send against us. Who's this marred guy? 
Warrior, this one is called Mard. How can I help you? It is good to know you. I am called Sonless. Va Sonless. Mard is an arrow maker and makes very good arrows too. Do you need any arrows, Va Sonless? Yes, Mard, I could use some arrows for my quiver. Has Mard done something to offend you, warrior? His arrows are good. This one deserves his Ta name. I apologize, Ta Mard. It has been a difficult day for me. There are difficult times all around, warrior, but at least here there is much wood and many birds for this one to use to make his arrows. Would you like to see them? All right, Tamard, let me see them. Yes, warrior, do you see my arrows? They are good arrows. Uh, yes, Tamard, this, so they are. Um. Ta is the honorific by which craftsmen are called. In my guise as a warrior, I outrank simple craftsmen, so using the honorific is not strictly necessary, but leaving it off may antagonize them. Well, we found something out, but beyond that, I don't know if that will be of any major use to us here. Alright, uh, we got a little thing. What's this? I have seen Overon the traitor, although it would be in Avalon's best interest to dispatch him immediately. He has some potent looking shaman with him. Perhaps I will be re able to reach him later. So there's Overon. Well, let's go and get into his chest here. So we have a kite shield, Overon satchel, and a tabard. Uh, we don't really need the tabard. Unless we're looking for something pretty, but not really. Alright, so we have the satchel that we need. We still have a few other things we gotta do around here, though. Because we still gotta scout south and scout southwest. Alright. Um, well, we found this Shaohul Scoutmaster. Let's see. Greetings, young warrior. I see you are new to this camp. Tell me how you come like all the others. Oh, have you come like all the others? Hoping to earn the favor of the Master of Scouts. You must have some tale of bravery or skill to impress me with, so that I will fall over my own feet in my eagerness to share my wisdom with one as deserving as yourself. No? How strange. But there is something different about you. All my senses tell me that. Regardless, you are probably no better suited to learn from me than the others of late. Truthfully, Scout Master, I am new to the camp and know nothing of you. As to my bravery and skills, I find that my actions tell the tale best. Well spoken, warrior. There is a fire within you, that is certain. Yet you temper your words so that they are not muddled by arrogance. Impressive. Most impressive. He peers at you intently for some time. Still, I find it odd that you have not heard of me. You must hail from one of the more remote clans. Hmm, perhaps one as unmolded as yourself could be an acceptable candidate for my instruction. Unlike many here, you seem capable of absorbing new things without injuring your pride. Surely a suitable candidate will present himself, sir. One may already have, I believe. Yes, you could possibly be one who could receive my wisdom. If you have not been assigned to a patrol, I would like to put the skills you are so humble about to a test. Perform it well and I may impart to you some of the stealth techniques I have spent a lifetime per pre perfecting, bleh, if I can speak. What say you? Your offer honors me, Scout Matt. Er, the opportunity to learn from one such as yourself cannot be refused. Very well. Before I begin any advanced training, you must prove to me that you have a basic aptitude for the art of stealth. I want you to retrieve an article of clothing from the Houndmaster's tent without being detected. To do this, you must avoid attention of his dogs. The Houndmaster's tent is located near a collapsed corner, tower, portion of the Dirtman's village wall, to the southwest of here. When you return with proof, I will instruct you in the skill of camouflage. Do you understand and accept this mission? Yes, sir, I do. I shall return to you when I have the object you request. And I actually already have it, so hooray! What progress do you have to report to me? 
I've recovered the Houndmaster's shirt. So you have, my new pupil. Though this was not a particularly dangerous or difficult assignment, it served my purpose of testing you quite well. Also, the item itself contains a lesson. You may find that a simple shirt can be used to mask your presence by its scent, just as movements that simulate nature can conceal you from enemy's sight. There are many ways to pass unseen. Are you ready to explore these ways? I am ready for your lesson in camouflage. Plus four stealth, minus 15 restriction, ooh, that's not bad. Plus two perception for 20 points. A lengthy explanation and demonstration follows. And that is the essence of camouflage. This lesson has stirred my hunger for knowledge. Do you have any other skills you wish to share with me? So, you wish to continue your training. Excellent. I have other tasks you may perform for me in exchange for your training. These may seem unusual, but I assure you they serve the good of our people. I will leave the choice up to you. Well, let's see. That helps defense and reduces hit recovery. Home your combat skills by slaying lizardmen. Recover tactical maps believed to be lost on the corpse in the Dirtman village. Learn to be a shadow walker. Uh, let's do combat skills first. A group of lizardmen are currently in a camp under the guise of negotiating an alliance with our people. I have learned that their true plan is to earn our trust, then betray us in an ambush. For this, you shall kill them. As an exercise of stealth, do this without drawing attention. You will find them in an abandoned farmhouse south of here and north of Mithras's tent. Return to me when you have done this. Do you understand? Yes, I shall return when I have slain them. Until then, burn brightly, Scoutmaster. Alright, looks like we're off to kill some lizardmen. Although I guess that's at least one good sign, is that they, uh aren't actually going to be making an alliance with the uh, Lizardmen, so... Hooray! Found them. Although, how do I kill these guys? Oh, that's why I do a shift attack on them. Okay. I think that's probably it for the Lizardmen. That was relatively simple. What progress do you have to report to me? I have eliminated the treacherous Lizardmen Scoutmaster. Then we will now improve your combat skills. The technique I called Focus is a lengthy explanation and demonstration follows. So, Though the primary mission of a scout is not usually combat, the time comes often enough when it is required to achieve your objective. Thus, I conclude this lesson. Alright, uh, I'd like to recover tactical maps believed to be lost on a corpse in the Dirtman village and learn to be a shadow walker. Vital tactical maps were stolen by a human scout from Avalon recently. He was seriously wounded while escaping though, and likely died somewhere between here and the Dirtman's stronghold. I want you to find and recover these maps. This will prepare you for your next lesson. I will, re I will return as soon as I have them. Alright, between here and the Dirtman's stronghold. I think I've seen the body of the guy before. I just gotta figure out where it's at now. Oh, well, we found their little training area. We got a trainer, a whole bunch of guys training here. I don't remember seeing this before. Who's this Shalin guy? My greetings to your brother warrior. I don't believe we've met before. I am called Shalin. How are you called? My apologies, Shalin, but I am summoned... Oh, wait, no. 
I am called Sauntless. I am but new to this camp. Are you as well? I am new here indeed, Va Sauntless. Truth be told, I am only recently from the plains, and have not yet met one of, your, one of our enemy, let alone fought them. The lady grant this truth be truth only a short while longer, however. I am eager to send a few dirtmen back into the earth. Tell me, brother, have you been here long in this foreign land? A while, yes, long enough to have seen my share of battle and death. How I envy you then, brother, to have seen our enemies blown down before the Lord's wrath, to have crossed blades with a dirt man and sent him into the ground. Soon I, too, will taste of these things. Eagerness becomes a warrior, brother, but our enemies do not fall so easily. They fell easily enough when the leader of theirs, Overon, had the lies burned from his heart by the lady's glory and joined our cause. Were you there? That was a wondrous battle, was it not? Ovo, yes, Overon, was a general of theirs. A wondrous battle, you think? Tell me then, would you rather stab a, a dirt man in the back or face him blade on blade? Think you that I'm a coward? Blade on blade, of course. It is good to hear that, warrior. But this Overon led his men into an ambush. This was not a case of two forces meeting in proper battle, and of the Shahul emerging victorious. This was one of the Shahul force taking an enemy by surprise and stabbing them all in the back. The Shahul claimed victory, and the Dirtmen died almost to a man. But it was a slaughter, not a wondrous battle. I think that you are being overly critical of the strategies of our leaders, brother. Think you so? Did I not hear you'd rather face an enemy blade on blade? Yes, but my enemies do not fear me because I hide and ambush them when they are not expecting me. That takes no skill, no bravery. They fear me because even though they're best, they do their best to defend themselves with their blades, I still kill them. You must decide, young warrior, for what reasons you will be feared. For acting as a coward or acting as a warrior? Your words are truly disturbing, Vaasanlis. I fear my mind may be cloudy for some time after this. Still, burn brightly, brother. Burn brightly. Well, that's interesting. I have discovered a group of Shahul running training drills in the southern location. Surely they must be limbering up for an invasion. Alright, so that means I just have to scout southwest of Avalon. Discover the aims of their construction efforts. And I still have to finish my one little quest for my uh, scout master. Gotta find that dead body somewhere around here. That has that uh, old Avalon scout. Oh my god. Okay, so I just spent like, it's probably been close to an hour trying to find out where this scout is. Um, I tried to look for a walkthrough online, but all of the ones that are online just have basic stuff. None of them have anything really in depth as far as uh, things go. I did find one in German that mentioned that the scout was in the nine in village nine in something apart along the wall. But I've been looking all along the wall and couldn't find anything until I finally hover my cursor around here and as you can see it says a dead scout. This stupid scout is behind the wall there and oh that's just like completely atrocious. Anyways, we have finally found the scout. Um, let's see. Uh, that's not too bad of a bow, I don't think. Seems like it does have a much quicker attack rate as well. Well, let's grab the map. Um, I think I'm going to have to return back and sell some of this stuff, though. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, take any of it. Take that uh, bow anyways. So we'll have to return back, sell some stuff, and then we can return to this scout and pick it up. Well, 
Well now, what do we have here? As Madam had suspected, the Shahul have not been idle. They have, indeed, been putting plans to action, and one of these plans involves the construction of a massive machine of war. A fearsome construct, it was both crude and refined. Its overall construction was primitive, but great care was taken in the fashioning of a large bird's head on the part I presume would be used to smash whatever lay in its path. Workers stood around it, some burning runes of the bizarre Shaohul language into its side. The care they are taking at this late stage of its assembly shows their reverence for it. Perhaps they believe it to be an instrument of their barbaric deity. Since it is an instrument of Avalon's destruction, however, it must be destroyed. Alright, uh, so one thing I was reading up was don't destroy the battering ram yet. Uh, you actually want to return and let uh, Madam know what's going on. If only so that uh, you can potentially... Well, there's like a bug apparently that happens if you try and destroy it. So... Warrior, you are new to this camp, yes? Yes, but I am recently arrived. Good, good. This one is called Islanes, Islan, Islansen. Have you seen the structure, warrior? The Dirtman's Ram. What of it? Other craftsmen are pleased to be working on it. This one thinks they lose sight of the Lady and the Lord. Oh, that's a pretty deep thought, craftsman. Can you go any deeper into it? Gladly. You see, this ram is the dirt man's invention. Even as it appears to be useful, it is really useless. I'm not sure I follow. He appears pensive, an almost comical expression on one of his ilk. The Shahul have no use of a ram on the plains. Such exist only for dirt man wars, not Shahul. Shahul do not build stone boxes and live their lives out of the touch of the lady's warmth. There is only a ram because there is a stone box. But the ram is needed to destroy the box and the dirtman within. Do you see the value it represents? This one also sees the devaluing it represents, warrior. For we become more like them with each passing day. We use their ram, we employ their people... People who betray their own, just as we have betrayed ourselves to our beliefs. Are they truly the dirt men that our lord and lady wish destroyed? Here we are, using their equipment and their ways. And yet the lord and lady do not burn us all to ash for this heresy. What does it mean? I do not know, craftsman. I am merely a warrior. And already you have given me much to think about. What this one speaks is not heresy, warrior. This one does not his job and prays for his answers from the Lord and the Lady, just like everyone else. But this one doubts what he is told when he hears a contradiction. In any event, this one would rather die than follow lies. This one shall medi meditate on it. Burn brightly, warrior. Burn brightly, craftsman. Well, that's interesting. But I suppose that is true, is that the uh, Shahul here... I think for the most part, don't really make use out of, uh, like, man-made weapons and that sort of thing. Anyways, uh, let's uh, return back to Mudum. Actually, there should be... I should be able to find that Dream Waker wand thing somewhere around here, I think. Aw, oh, jeez. Okay, so I was over here earlier and I went through this tent and I saw this chest here. But apparently there is another chest in here as well that's sort of hidden. Where is it? Oh, come on. There it is. There's our Dream Walker, Walker wand. It has some nice stats, but we'll bring it over to Olin. So let's uh, head back over to him. And I think we're pretty much ready to go turn in everything. We've got Overon's satchel, the Dreamwalker wand. We've checked those areas out. Yep. So we are good to bring this stuff up. 
All right. So the first thing that we are going to do as we return, well, we'll put our bow away for one. Uh, we'll talk to Siroth and let him know about the satchel. It is good to see you again, Anubis. Yes, and you, Siroth. My excursion to find Overon's satchel has been a success. He takes the satchel from you and rifles through it. Excellent. I knew it. I wish I could say that this act would seal Overon's fate, but he's certainly not going to mention anything. When he realizes the satchel is gone and he's still alive, he will know. Don't worry about sealing Overon's fate, Siroth. I've always fancied that my responsibility. He should be provided a trial, but at this point, it would be a pointless formality. Exactly. If there's nothing else, you are dismissed. Not at the moment. Until the next Siroth. Alright, next, uh, let's go talk to Olin. Give him his little wand that he wants. And then once we turn in the wand, then we can go talk to Mudum about all the various little interesting things that we discovered on our trip into the village. Welcome back, traveler. I have brought you the Dreamwalker's wand. Now my debt is paid. So it is. Are you finished with the mask yet? No, I have not completed all the assignments that I need the mask for. That's quite all right. Let me know when you are finished with it. Count on it. Until then, farewell. Alright, one last little thing to end it for today. Um, if I recall correctly, when I was looking through the guide, uh, there is still a section after I talk to Mudum. But I think we're going to save that for next time. Uh, certainly I did a lot of recording that I'll have to... Uh, edit down to make more presentable for this episode so i imagine next time will be a good finale for chapter four welcome back have you something to report i investigated a few of the areas you spoke of yes but why have you returned to me with your assignment incomplete i apologize madam but i believe this information is urgent those in charge must be kept informed Perhaps I should have mentioned that I need information about each of the regions before I can make a truly informed decision. I applaud your initiative, you're quick and capable, but please return only when you have information about each of the three areas. Oh, well, was that an option? Oh, I have finished scouting each of the three areas you spoke of. Excellent. What have you learned? To begin with, to the east of Avalon, I discovered that the reports of non-humans were true. They were human mostly, from the waist up at least. From the waist down, however, they possess the body of a snake. Please continue. Upon visiting the southwest location, I witnessed a half-built framework of stout logs. Shahul were working on it as I approached. I see. General Ovron was an expert at siege warfare. It is likely this machine was built under his orders. Do you know what this contraption is, or at least how the Shahul intend to use it? I do not know for sure, but I do not recognize what else it may be except a machine of war. Doubtless, it must be completed before the Shaohul can attack. And in the southeast? A group of Shaohul warriors milling about, sparring and talking to each other. I actually had the chance to speak with some of them, and apparently they've been put on alert for attack. They believe that the attack will come upon the completion of their great machine. I see. Very well. First then, the snake men are called Naga. Naga. Bleh. I know they exist, but have never seen one personally. Only illustrations and vague supposition come fireside story. I am surprised that they've worked their way into our region. They usually stay away from human settlements. Disturbing implications, but nothing I need worry myself about. Report this activity to Captain Calveric. He'll know what to do. Very well. Is there anything else? Uh, let's see. Destroy their siege machine. And that should buy us some more time to pray for the swift arrival of our reinforcements. As to the method you employ, it matters not, but fire would be efficient. Yes, I think. And symbolic. 
You should be able to procure some oils from one of our resident alchemists to aid you in that regard. That will be all for now, unless you have more secrets to reveal. Uh, I do not, madame. Very well. If you have anything to report back, don't hesitate to stop by. He pinches the bridge of his nose. I'll be here for sure, as you wish, madame. Alright folks, that is going to be it for this episode today. Um, in the next episode, we'll start out back in the village as we make our assault on the war machine. Um, might just go all out and just annihilate them. It's very much a possibility. Where is Captain Calvaric here anyways? I'm supposed to find him about something, but I can't remember where he is for the life of me. Oh well. Alright folks, well thanks for watching. As always, be sure to uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of my various streams. And if you have any comments, leave them below and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Alright folks, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.